Hey guys, it's DRAC here. I'm doing another VOD review sent in by a sim main called Empress Doom. Looks like they're in gold elo right now and they wanted some tips. I'm gonna look over this gameplay they sent me and see what uh, we can find. Alright, looks like someone in Lord, game Lord. chat is asking for everyone to come into voice. Someone's asking in game chat for a 2-2-2 two, two, two comp. I think it's a Reinhardt. The Reinhardt's the one talking. Well, not talking. He's the one typing into his mic. Lucy, Lucy. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a Smetra Lucio, Junkrat, Hog, Ana, Reinhardt. This is a pretty good composition for this rank. But Mitra is not good. <laughs> Five, four, three, someone two, asked for Baptiste. <laughs> and someone said in voice, Smetra is not good. Okay. So one of the very first things I'm noticing here is that you do not have show accuracy turned on as far as your crosshair goes. I highly recommend anyone that's underneath around the the master's elo, anyone like below 3.5k SR should probably have this turned on. And what I'm talking about here is that when you're charging up your laser right here, as you can see, if you have show accuracy turned on, let me pull out my pen tool. When you have show accuracy turned on, it makes this um the circle around right here, it makes that circle appear and it grows larger and larger as it charges. Until you really get the hang of Symmetra, you should definitely have show accuracy turned on. Um, I had a viewer just the other week tell me that they didn't realize that while you were holding down right click, there was a point where like the charge capped off at. And if you have show accuracy turned on, it makes it very clear how long you have to hold down right click before you get a max charge with her right click. It, it's very clear. But otherwise though, if you don't have show accuracy turned on, and you're not super familiar with like Symmetra's mechanics and whatnot, you're really just guessing, so I highly recommend everyone turns on show accuracy. If you want to do max damage with your orbs, and you want to do as quick a spam as possible with a, like fully charged orbs, show accuracy is a very good tool to have on. Highly recommend it for everyone. Diva, don't fit. Good right clicks on Diva right now. I like the pressure. TP up top, ping for your team that group up, group up with you. I tried left clicking Diva a little bit, but you got bumped off by Junkrat mine. It happens. Well, that's a good hook by your hog. Good awareness, you probably get away from Junkrat before he like taps you. Summer down to one health, she can get away. Did they use nano on that diva bomb? I think they might have. Alright, you have wall, but you guys might have already won the fight, it looks like. Are you gonna get the diva kill? Yeah, you got it. You got it. Alright, decided to use that wall because of the Junkrat's higher, that's fine. Oh, but they EMP it anyways, okay. A long fight. Looks like you guys won it though. Alright, good job. Good job on that fight. One thing I do want to comment on is that uh, I don't think you're talking in this game, at least via voice, which is fine. Um, I do that occasionally myself, there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes it does help though before a team fight begins, like on the first push, on, especially on a map like this with like a chokehold to maybe even type out like, in game chat like what your plan is before you go ahead and do it. Say like, I'm going to TP high ground. That way your teammates just have some sort of like heads up what's going on, you know? Just like that much can really help you out as far as coordination with like sim TPs go. Diva, 
Okay, Diva's pretty low health. Oh, he gets down by Doomfist, but oh, Doomfist is going away. Okay. I like these turrets you have around point. That way if Doomfist tries to go in on you, he's gonna get some uh get some pressure immediately. Diva's taking far away. She got pulled in there. Right, you got purple. I'm a little worried for you right now. <laughs> oh god! There's a lot of stuff going on. Good wall, I like it. Junkrat tire. Okay, everyone's staying alive really well. Right now, what I'm thinking of is maybe you should be looking at ball. I'm pretty sure you have a ball like right on top of you. I can't see him right now, but I think he's. I think the ball is about. Where's my? There we go. I think ball's like right here, off to your left side. I can't see him, but I think he's there. I haven't been seeing you charge up your left click a whole lot. There's nothing wrong with that. You guys have been doing just fine, but Sim's left click is really good. They just got that 20% speed buff. I would definitely recommend taking full advantage of it when you get the opportunity to. And especially when you get like a tank that's like coming towards you for the initiation, you should absolutely be, I think, left clicking as soon as possible. But we'll see what happens here. Maybe I get proven wrong. Oh my God. Yeah, ball does die. Oh, okay, nice. These are good. These are good. Um, Good TP, good turrets. Nice. Alright, it worked out. Alright, Doomfist got your Lucia. Going after this Moira. Come backwards, just dancing around the TP. Alright, I, li I like the turrets next to the door. That's absolutely where they're going to be coming out at. It's a good way to get them pressure when they try and contest the cart. Nice, okay, you got the point. Good job. See, in situations, especially like right here, I think, in my my opinion, it'd be really nice just to see like how charged your orbs are at. Um, if they're like halfway charged, they're fully charged. Instead of sh most times for me, instead of shooting like a couple like quarter charged orbs, if that makes sense, like one fourth of the way, I'd rather shoot like two like pretty beefy orbs if not fully charged. And it just makes it that much easier to see, see the timing when you have show accuracy turned on. Like it's nice shooting all those little orbs, I guess, to like kind of like show them. But I don't know. The, the big orbs is what I'm all about. I like big orbs. All right, all right. this is good luck looking right here. You got the monkey really low. I like that you didn't go in there because they had a lot of people looking at you. It would have been really easy for you to die if you just like held forward there or W. Okay, okay, this is going really well. Nice, this is going really well. I like the ultimate. The way you put it vertical is really good because the payload the payload is not a stationary target. Oh, sorry if you guys can hear this train in the background. I like how this wall is vertical because this payload, it's not going to just like stay like, you know, right here. It's not going to just stay here unless like the, they're contesting, of course. But as long as you're moving the payload, it's going to keep on going. So like, let's say you put a wall like right here and the payload, it's it's like right here and you put down the wall initially. But you keep on moving the payload, and the payload moves and moves and moves, and like the payload gets to like right here. Well this this wall you put down way back here, that's no longer very useful at all, except for maybe like your on or Zenyatta, you know? So a wall like this that goes vertical. I'm gonna clear this off. A wall that goes vertical like that down the road is really nice, because now this payload if it keeps on continuing to move, you'll always have some sort of shielding you can use, and you can strafe left and right, you know, between this payload, and still have this cover of like a really massive wall. So that's a really good use of your wall right here. I like it. Nice, snipe the, the Winston. Yeah, get some pressure to Diana. I like it. All right, all right. That's unfortunate that you did die right there. The, there's not a whole lot you could do. What I do want to comment on is that it's a good... I like the use of putting the TP right here. Um, it's very easy to put like a TP right next to Card or something, like on the side of it or maybe right in front of it. It's really easy to do that in the middle of like a team fight, a tactic. But if you do that, your TP gets instantly destroyed. It gets run over by the payload. 
So like that's big um, heads up play whether or not you meant to do that on purpose putting your TP over here so that way it doesn't get immediately destroyed. So far this is really good. That was your first death, huh? Why are you in gold? So far you've been playing really well. What's the game plan here? You have a junk crowd up top? Okay. Yeah. So that, that's a good awareness just to throw like maybe one turret up there, just to kind of like show like the junk right you knew about him, but you didn't waste all of your cooldowns necessarily. So you still have like one turret in the bank and like well, one and a half, you almost have two turrets, that's good. Oh no. That was a really odd diva bomb. What the heck? Is that diva going just after you? She she must have thought she was gonna catch more than one person with that, huh? That was a sneaky diva bomb. That was unlucky. You were starting moving forward, so like you were caught in a really, a really hard spot. Not much you could do there. The team's getting kills though. Oh, they used B. They might still cap here. Alright, I like you putting down turrets on point. Good job. Watch out. I think I think that Lucio may have just ate the Doomfist fist for you. I think he may have gotten punched there. I think he may have gotten punched with the Lucio. Uh, the Lucio didn't take the beating for you. Oh jeez, that bashing's there. Alright, good hook. I think your team has this, right? Mora, Mora, Mora. Um, one thing you can also do here, like as on a big straightaway, like right after you jump down past this point, is you can use your TP as kind of a taxi. You probably already know about this, but if you just want to get back to the point as soon as possible, when you're running back to it, just uh, you know, just throw down your TP. It will save time. Not a whole lot of time, but it will save time. So like right here, you can put down your TP as far as possible and just TP through it as a little like mini taxi for you and you'll be to the point quicker than just walking straight. Now if you had like a Lucio with you, that would be different. I would just have the Lucio tax me back. But since you're running back solo, I would use the TP myself to get back as soon as possible. To the point. But anyways though, good round. You're typing into the game chat. Can we have... <laughs> okay, instead of asking whatever question you were, you just typed in smiley face. I like it. I like it. I love Mercy. Yeah, Mercy and Sim are really good. Good combo for sure. <laughs> What's this guy talk about two main healer? You have a Mercy Zenyatta. Maybe someone switched heroes, I didn't see it. But uh, Mercy and Zenyatta are not two main healers. Okay, you want to go for the sneaky turrets, eh? Okay, I see you. Nothing wrong with that. I'm sure you, I'm sure you can catch someone off guard with that. Um, are you just going for an orb shot here? Or what are you doing? You must just be going for an orb shot. Okay, yeah. Putting up a TP to get away quickly so you don't feed. Okay, you got a shot off. You got a shot off. <laughs> the execution wasn't pretty, but you got it off. You got some ult charge. It's a good spam shot. Yeah, right here, that's absolutely a good place to spam a Symmetra. She can shoot through like the littlest, like tiniest of uh openings, cracks, corners, whatever you want to call it. That's a very good place to shoot through. And it looks like you did demac the diva, so good job on that. Zenyatta so right here, he's peeking through the Arissa shield. That's unfortunate. This Doomfist is charging on the left side. Sometimes it seems like you might kind of have late reactions, like the Doomfist charging. Um, I know on the end of first point, or I mean on the end of first round, on third point, it looked like you almost got hit by a Doomfist, you were just kind of like walking forward. Be very careful about that. Doomfist has like a one hit ability, you know? He's kind of like Roadhog, where if like you get hit by his like main thing, you're going to respawn. So try if you like hear like that voice line. Like, it, like it's very noticeable if you can hear him charge up. 
try and make Please sure that you're very aware about that and you have some sort of option to get away in case there is a Doomfist like uh, potentially targeting you in your range. What? What? Alright, we have a monkey above us. Nice pressure. I like it. Alright, this is really good too. I like where you're spamming right now with your orbs. Um, as opposed to where you were spamming it before, this is another spot I really love spamming on this map specifically. Okay. What I like doing here, when I'm playing on Hollywood defense as Symmetra, what I really like doing is I'll stand on the hood of the payload. So basically right behind where you're standing, I'll get on top of that while my team's kind of doing this poking war when the other team's trying to push in through the chokehold over here. And what I do is I spam orbs, and I spam them just so they can go through between this wall right here and this car. There's this opening right here, and that's where I try to spam the orbs. I spam orbs through here. Oh, I can't really hit it. I'll draw a little bullseye. I put my cursor like right here. And that's where I spam orbs. I always get a ton of hit markers. Sometimes I get random lucky kills. It's a really good uh, spot to spam that in general. The chokehold's a good spot to spam it in general, but I really enjoy spamming through that little like tiny crack with the car. Catches a lot of people off guard, I feel like, even in the higher elos. All right, I like the turrets against the wall. If they jump in there, the turrets will help you out. I like it. Oh, I'm getting some hit markers, nice. You got your ultimate. Alright. You put it up immediately. Um, not terrible. Oh wow, they're initiating on your wall, wow. They're going straight in. Alright. Got a fully charged orb. Your Mercy's dead, your Zenyatta's dead. Hmm. I have to watch this back one more time. So I don't know if this would have necessarily changed the outcome of this team fight. This is one thing I want to comment on. Right now, the other team really hasn't made their push past the chokehold. The other team, they're still hanging out around the corner over here, you know? It's like this long distance battle for the most part. The Winston's the exception, okay? He's not the whole team. I know the Winston's right here, but he is not the whole team. He's one person out of a you know a six-person team. So he's here right now, but the other team is right here. And this jump, this Winston, he's about ready to jump away too, because he's he's weak. I think he's a like round here in his life bar that, that goes all the way to about here. You can't really see it right now, but he's weak. He's getting shot down by lasers, your team, uh, etc. But Winston's jumping away, and now you put down your wall, which is a huge defensive ult, especially defensive on points like this. There's not a lot of value being created besides just buying some time right now with this wall. You know, in most situations, another team won't attack the point, even though the other team does right now. So they actually could just like walk through this. But um. I feel like you might have gotten more value if you waited like a couple more seconds to put down your wall. The wall the wall's really good to put down after another team engages and before anyone on your team dies. So it's a small window that you have to learn and you learn that by playing sim more and more. But it's best to put down the wall between a, like the other team actually committing to a fight where they can't back out so easily and then your team being alive. If you have like more than like two people dead on your team, not the best time to use the wall. Um, if the other team's not engaging into you and they're like clearly have a chance to back out, not the best time to use your wall. Well, the other team comes through anyway here. Doomfist charges through the back, gets your mercy pretty easily, I guess. That's just unfortunate. They moral and kill your uh, Arissa. Oh, but you did you did kill the Doomfist here. That was a good shot on the Doomfist. Nice pressure on the Doomfist. I didn't notice that the first time. Okay, so you kill the Doomfist and then you're charging up your ult. I guess the Doomfist just pl applied too much pressure to Mercy and then your Zenyatta that got caught out on the point. Maybe not the best spot for Zenyatta and then your Arissa died immediately. 
It kind of sucks. You got a kill, but then you didn't have any heals to do much after that. That's just a really hard fight to win if they're gonna, you know, Moira ult and that goes through walls. I think you did just fine there. The only thing I, I could maybe say is that maybe you could have waited a second or two more for like the wall before you put it down, but even then it might not have saved the team fight. Alright, Diva's low. Nice. I like the spam in here. This is good spam. Oh, you have a turret still doing work. Nice. Watch out. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe you didn't see that because you're so focused, but um, where did, where did she throw that in at? Here, you can see dynamite being thrown in right here. Maybe you didn't see it in like the heat of the moment or whatever, but we we see the dynamite get gets thrown in here. We hear the sound effect. We hear everything, and then you just run back into it. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. <laughs> dynamite does a lot of damage. Okay, even though you're winning this team fight, you got down to 50 health, and you can definitely get burst down very easily from 50 health. 200 health is considered a squishy target, so like 50 health is like you're on life support. Try to avoid dynamite whenever possible. Dynamite's kind of like a, a Moira orb, like it can kill you if you're not careful. You know, you got you got to respect, you got to respect all the abilities like that in this game. The damage over time. All right, good luck clicking so far in the Winston. I like it. He's pushing you around. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The um. The Mercy got taken out and you got pushed to the back. That's, it's really hard to get away from a Winston once he starts pushing you around. You can try to uh, put down like a teleporter, but still, if you're getting pushed around, it's usually not even going to help you that much. So that's unlucky. Reaper. They, they are, these can be right now, you might be feeding. No, you're not feeding? Okay, okay, you're taking a lot of damage. Watch out where you're standing. Oh, this Mercy is dying a lot. Their Ash is really just taking out your Mercy before all these fights began. That's a little unlucky. Alright. You got a kill, that's good. One thing I'm gonna say here is I know it's harder some of the times in these lower elo games. Try to be um, aware of where your team's at. So far it looks like you don't have any of your tanks back. Um, there's this message that your Reinhardt just apparently switched to Arissa. Wait, no, it's the other way around. Your Arissa switched to Reinhardt, so that's good. But your Reinhardt's not back in the action yet. You spawned before him. So I think you have what right now. If you have a Sombra that's in Viz right here. So she's just hanging out with the translocator right here in plain view. Okay, weird weird flex, but okay. You have a Zenyatta right here, and you have a Mercy right here. I don't see that you have any tanks out in the open yet. Zero tanks on your team. I think learning to play with your tanks can immensely help you out. Your Roadhog saying something in comms right now, and then um, there's that message that your Rissa switched to Reinhardt. Right now, if I were you, I would focus on just staying alive the best I can. Maybe maybe TPing to like an odd spot if you want to. You could TP up here if you want. You could TP on top of jail if you want. You could TP maybe to uh, inside here if you want. You know, these are all viable options as long as you do your best to at least focus on staying alive. Okay, so you're pushing out a little bit and uh, we can see the tanks still aren't here. There's the Roadhog over here in the corner. He's running back from spawn, so the Roadhog isn't here. And I don't think the Reinhardt is here either. Yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, now we can see the Reinhardt is charging back right now from spawn too. So both your tanks are on respawn. And now you guys are already in a spot right now. Your whole team is. This isn't just you necessarily too, what I'm getting at here. Um, is your whole team is out here engaging in a team fight. You're under heavy fire. You're half health right now. You're at 100 health. And your tanks aren't even here. You really have to play with your tanks, I feel like. to uh, the, the tanks are so essential for making space right now. And it's up to you to be self-aware that, hey, my whole team's not here. Let me spend an extra like five seconds hanging out back in spawn where I'm not going to die as opposed to going to the fight and not being as useful as I can be because you only have one more fight here.
if you lose another team fight, they're getting this point for sure. They have three people, they're pushing this cart real fast right now. No one on your team's contesting it right now, because your tanks are back here. Your tanks are gonna be the main like the main stoppers as far as you know making space and contesting the cart. So be mindful of engaging as a team. Don't try to go into fights as a 4v6. That's not a not a good idea. Okay, so yeah. Your your tanks still aren't back out in the fight, and your mercy's already dead, and your Zenyatta's at half health and getting mowed down by a Winston right now. Your Sombra got a nice pick, and that's cool and all. Killing a Zenyatta is not going to help you here. It's still going to be a what a five versus four in a second, and you have no healer because both your Zenyatta and Mercy are dead. So that sucks. That's kind of more, one more of the things, though. Where it's not more about you so much as it is kind of more of a team thing. You were out here with them, but maybe maybe if you had like a mic or something, you could at least say like, "Hey, team, like, let's your group and like try to say that sort of stuff." So that's all that here. You do a nice job staying alive. So now your tank's back, but you have no healer. And they're using Bob and stuff, yeah. Yeah, Bob, Bob crushes and gold elo for sure. That's rough. Ah, uh, yeah, soldier ult. Yeah, that's rough. Okay. There is still much to be done. Do you guys hold this? EMP goes off. Your Mercy gets a huge res on Roadhog. Okay, Mercy dies again. I don't know if it's your Mercy's fault or like your team's lack of peeling for your Mercy, but your Mercy, man, she just dies every two seconds. I like that turret right there, that's a good turret. Yeah, watch out for spam damage. Alright. Good. You're around the wall, waiting to get your shields back. I like it. Alright, once that halo turns the corner, initiating with a wall would be a good idea. Let's see what you do with the wall. Well, you got first pick, so wall might not be needed anymore actually. You're getting your bean charge off the bubble, I like it. Good heads up awareness. Okay. Okay, okay, you got another pick. This is good. You should, sometimes in these sort of situations. Oh, jeez, what's going on here? Oh, God. What a team fight. This is nuts. I'm going to wait a second before I comment what I was going to say. I want to watch this out. They're using Trans. They're using Diva Bomb. Moira's in here. Bob's coming out. Oh, God. What a crazy team fight this is. What a crazy team fight. Oh. Your team's dying pretty fast here. The Bob, yeah, Bob's gonna destroy you. You can't TP in front of a Bob. I don't know if you saw where the Bob was at. You probably didn't mean to do it on purpose, I assume. But if you hear a Bob come out in the battlefield, you have no way of contesting that without a wall or a shield of some sort. Or unless your team is completely melting like Bob with the Discord. There's just, there's just nothing you can do with Bob. There. Changes in trans. Okay, so what I want to comment on here is this is what I want to comment on here. Look at, look where the payload's at right now. Payload is all the way back here. It's just turning around the corner right now. And your Roadhog, he's about ready to get a kill. Where's it at? Roadhog, Roadhog gets a kill right now, all the way up here. If your team is not gonna take the initiative to contest the payload. Um, I would I would step up if I were you. I would go ahead and say, you know what? Even though this might not be my job, I still kind of have to do this role because Symmetra can make it work. And, you know, <laughs> like, what happens right now is this: your, the enemy team, they push payload for free. 
from all the way there all the way to right here. And it's a 5v6 right now. You're up one person and they get so much space off this payload that they should not be getting. And they get it for free at a disadvantage. This is this is pretty bad. So if I were you, um, and use like right now, like I would definitely be on your page where it looks like your tanks might be contesting the cart cool. But once your tanks start running back, I might just throw down the wall here, and then put the turrets up. Honestly, you probably shouldn't have to use your your ultimate at a higher elo if you get first pick. But your your tanks are like playing so passive. That's annoying. Look at your tanks are behind you already. Well, at least one of them is like the one with the shields behind you. Look at so in between like right now where I stopped the video and right um and right now at this moment they push payload around the corner and they're continuing to push. There is no one that's contesting this cart. They're gonna keep on pushing this. You know, your Reinhardt's just backing up so quickly. He's scared of something. So I guess if you if you notice like your Reinhardt's backing up or his shield's low and stuff, um. I would throw out the wall a little bit quicker maybe. Symmetra gets her ultimate pretty quickly, so you don't have to be afraid of using it too too liberally, you know? You can throw it out there, and even if it's a waste, it's better to throw it out there and be a waste sometimes than it is to not use it and like use it too late or lose the point because you didn't use it, those sort of things. Okay, that's a good pick on the Ash, I like that. You thought about using wall there. And I agree, it's a little unclear here what's going on. There's a couple different times where I thought you won the fight, and then it turns out you didn't win the fight. And then they, they threw out like three ults all at once. So in this last fight, I think throwing out your wall sooner would have been a great option to use. I know hindsight's 2020, but if you can notice like your tanks are playing like pretty passively, sometimes you kind of have to act as like the tank and use your wall and play like a tank to contest payload. Keep up, keep up. That's one of the great things about Symmetra is even though she's not a tank role, she can still kind of fill in and do some odd things like that. Her kit's pretty wacky. Alright, looks like your team is holding, so that's really good. That would have been heartbreaking if your team actually lost the point based off that fight. But, yeah. I think it would have been huge though for you in the first place though, if like you stepped up though and like, hey guys, I'm gonna make sure the other team doesn't even push the, the cart past here. Because from here all the way back to where they pushed it at, that's a pretty big margin for third point when you have close spawn. You know, if they win a fight, if they win a fight back here, the other team, if they won the fight over there, the point would be over here. But if the other team wins a fight like right here, so even if like you threw down a wall and like you lost a fight right here, you still probably have enough time because like because of the way your team dies and like different points and probably not all, at, not all at once your team probably has another chance to like contest again before like the, the points actually over completely so try to be aware of those things as far as like game sense goes all right I like the turrets we can hear soldiers popping up on you over here Yep, you can hear that soldier. So you have a turret that can help keep you safe in case he contests you. Ooh, okay, that's that's rough. That's a rough TP to take. Uh, I guess you didn't know Winston was over there. We spent, you probably just TP'd over there thinking, hey, I'm gonna get away from the soldier and just kind of avoid like messing with him. But then you saw the monkey and you're like, oh no, I need to go back. What makes this really rough though is that, hey, the soldier, like, your TP is not only loud, it's very noticeable. So the soldier is probably like, oh, I'm gonna like camp this TP like someone might camp like a Sombra Translocator, and I'm gonna kill her as soon as, she, as soon as she comes back. So the soldier has this like sights on you, you go back, you get Helix immediately, so you have damage from Monkey, you have damage from Soldier, now you're less than half health, and you're not in a great spot. Luckily you get healed though. Uh oh, video's cutting up here. What's happening? This is not me. This is the this is the gameplay. Must be it's like a lot of ultimates going on right now. But from what I can tell, it looks like you're charging your left click really well. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Okay. That was, that was like scary for a moment, then he jumped away. 
When you see a monkey kind of retreat around the corner, that means he's scared, or it means he's trying to bait you. It means something when he kind of has this fight and then runs away right here. You know, or it means he doesn't have his jump cooldowns. So like that's why he wants to like buy some time around the corner and not fight you anymore. He doesn't feel confident in the fight, you know, and like why should he? You know, you're at a full fully charged beam, full health, and you know, he's probably stuck here without his shield or whatnot. But you need to be cautious about your ammo. I can tell you're very excited to probably shoot at this monkey with a full beam, but at the same time, you don't have much ammo at all. You're at 17 health. Not 17 health, you're at 17 energy, whatever her ammo is. And you're shooting right clicks at that. Now you're even less less ammo. You pretty much have no ammo. So you got caught reloading here, so try and be heads up about what you're doing with your ammo. If Monkey put down his shield, that would have been great, because you could have left clicked it to like get some of your ammo back while applying pressure potentially. But uh, instead, you kind of just get caught reloading. Here, this was pretty much just bad positioning or lack of awareness as far as your ammo goes. If you had ammo here to left click him when Monkey turned to over this corner, you could have done a lot more damage to him. What does Symmetra do? Like, she does like 180 or like 200 damage per second. You're reloading right now. Monkey comes out, hits you for free, all the way down to 50 health almost. Your turrets do some work, but if you were left clicking him this whole time, you could have definitely got him down to like 10 HP or potentially even killed him. You do have your ultimate here again, so that's really good. I like that. Alright, you're putting it down. Not bad. I think that's a fine time to put it down right now. They are disengaging, it looks like. Oh, but you forced out trans. Someone forced out trans. There's a soldier maybe trying to flank. Yeah, there's soldier coming out. The wall's coming down. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, your team's destroying them. Alright, watch out for the bob again. Alright, looks like your team's all focusing the bob, so that's good. When your team's all focusing the bob like that, it's fine to shoot him. You have a shield, all that, plenty of corners. When your team's not focusing bob like that, try to avoid bob the best you can. Bob is very scary. Okay. Very telegraphed Eva bomb. No one, no one probably should have died from that, but it's okay. Nice turret cleanup. I like it. Turret got caught in the wall, but that's okay. It's still no cape spot for turret. Oh, Winston's primaling. Alright, you're trying to contest cart. It's hard though. You have everyone looking at you on their team. You tried. Alright. Roadhog went to ball. They're trying to contest. You're going May. Not a bad swap for contesting. Monkey's sleeping. Alright, you froze the target. Ice block on point. Yeah, I don't know much about May. I try and learn May myself. Um, I'm not a good May myself, so I can't really do any sort of odd review as far as May goes. You tried. <laughs> there probably wasn't a whole lot you could do there. So they pushed the full point, but uh, you guys did a pretty good whole third point. It wasn't too bad. Okay, so someone on the team is saying teleport to the left. You say, okay. And you're clarifying what they mean to the left. Because the left could mean different things to different people. So I like that you say, so to the back, and they say to the mega health pack. So now you're on the same page. So that's good that your team has some sort of game plan going in. What are we going? We're going Zenyatta, Reinhardt, Reaper, Zarya. What was the last hero? I missed it. Van. Oh, it's an Ana. Okay, we have an Ana too. So let's go. Oh, 
Alright, so they have a Pharah. Oh, that Pharah's doing a lot of work right now. Oh, epic. okay. This is the second time I've seen you walk into a dynamite. I assume you know what, who Ash is, right? You know who Ash is, you know what this ability is. I'm not going to try to insult your intelligence here, but you've really got to watch out for these, these dynamite sticks. They do a lot, especially if they hit more than one of your teammates. And we can all see this right here. We all heard it, we can all see it. I assume you play with sound. There's sound coming from your video. Be extra cautious of abilities like this, especially dynamite. This is, I think, the second time I've seen this video where I've seen you pretty much walk into it after it's been sitting on the ground. It's not even like the ash is shooting this in midair. It's sitting on the ground and you're walking into it. Try to avoid these things as much as possible. It'll help you stay alive longer, Sim, trust me. <laughs> Look at it. It's right there. <laughs> you just walk into it. You know, like, I know, I know, like, the whole game plan was, you know, teleport to the left. That's fine and all. That's fine and all to take an extra couple seconds to avoid getting yourself down to 23 health and taking a couple more seconds putting your TP down. Just because you say you're going to TP to the left doesn't mean you're on some sort of speed run where you have to put down your TP within 10 seconds from getting out of the spawn gates or else, you know, you lose the round. You have time to dodge these dynamite bombs, okay? You have time to get your team full health before you TP in if you need to. There's no, there's no rush to, there's no rush to uh, walk into this dynamite stick to put your TP down. No matter what your teammates say, no matter what you know they're trying to shot call or if they're yelling at you, whatnot. Play your own game. I think you probably know like what you should and shouldn't do to a certain extent. So yeah, try and watch out for that sort of things. You almost died from a fair rocket here, but luckily you got shielded. That's good. This maze is right in your face. That might be a problem. All right, so TP does go down. That's good. Reaper's kind of hanging out. He used Wraith already. That's not good. So we're playing Sim Reaper into a Pharah. That could be rough. There's a Pharah above you somewhere. Yeah. Pharah's, Pharah's kind of wrecking your team right now. So one thing I also want to say as well here is that don't be afraid to change the game plan. Don't be afraid to change the game plan. I know you guys said in spawn like, hey, we're going to teleport to the left. But if you see this fair right now, don't be afraid to be like, hey, you know what? Fuck going to the left. I'm not, I'm not going that way anymore. They have a Pharah. We're screwed with a Symmetra Reaper going against a Pharah out with like no cover over there on the left side. It's completely fine to be like, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm going to walk this way over here into this closed room and I'm going to put a TP into this cafe over here. That's a lot harder for probably like a gold fair at least. This might not be totally correct. Someone might correct me anyways. But I think in my opinion, it's harder for a fair to shoot at a team that's inside here, especially with a Rhine shield, as opposed to a team that's sitting out like on open ground you know, on the back of point. Um, I know the circle looks like it's like pointing to like the stairwell in here, but I'm really trying to point to kind of like that corridor back by like the mega health pack that goes up to the point. That's all, that's all open ground. That's Ferris playing ground. Where at least if you like teleported in through here to cafe, you would have some cover and you're on a health pack. That would be nice. I feel like you'd also be on their back line too. Cause that's probably where their back line's hanging out. Like their, their supports are. So don't be afraid to change the game plan if you see that the strategy you said you want to do in spawn isn't going to work or you feel like it's not going to work. Yeah, so right now all you can pretty much do is try and get as much ult charge as you can before you die. Someone gets a kill on their mech, but the mech gets rezzed. Looks like their Zarya is pretty charged. What is their team comp by the way? I want to see who they have on their team for sure. They have, yep, Pharmacy, they have Moira, so two main healers, then they have a Mei, that's going to be kind of annoying, and then an Ash, and also, okay, so they're solo tanking here, pretty much. They have a Zarya solo tank, but they have a Mei, that's kind of weird. 
The maze was kind of front running from what I could tell. Alright, so we have about one, maybe one and a half more team fights here, depending on how quickly they go. May used wall. Reinhardt's already dead. That's unlucky. That's kind of like the case of people pressing W and not like actually holding off their keyboard for a moment to group up. So he probably was just trying to like shield out like the the choke and got walled off. Yeah, Fair is getting some free damage here. She's probably getting close to barrage. I wonder if she'll barrage this fight. I imagine she will. She got a lot of damage last fight, so yeah, Fair probably has barrage. Okay, you do TP the cafe. I like it. I don't know if your team's completely with you. Okay, well, your team is, yeah, around right there. Let's see what happens. Pharaoh is hanging out in there, really. Pharaoh is hanging out in there. Let's watch that again. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we can see right now where the Pharaoh is before we put down our TP. You know, we can kind of see where she's hanging out at. Now we see, we see these rockets being fired from cafe right now. We see them. You know, we, we see her firing these rockets from cafe. This is such a, this is such a ballsy TP to take when we see these rockets being fired from cafe. Now, I know I just talked about TPing to the cafe, but that was assuming that the fair was just playing a normal fair, where she's playing up in the sky, not in a closed area or corridor. Um, but if the fair is actually playing in here in cafe and she's like directly shooting rockets out, you have to be very, very careful what you're going to do here to play out of her line of sight the best you can. But um, instead, you TP right into her, and that's just really rough. So she kills you. Then she instantly barrages whoever else comes through that TP. So she gets McCree too. They freeze. Since we know the last fight is upcoming on here, there's about 30 seconds left. Another thing we could do here besides TPing up to the cafe as well would be spamming orbs to try and get your ult charge as high as possible. You don't always have to be like the playmaker or the initiator. Um, it happens though, I mean, and sometimes you do have to be that person if no one else on the team is really the carry, you know, as far as to say. You're at 60% ult charge right now, and you have 30 seconds on the clock to touch point. You don't have to touch point immediately, because this is more or less the last fight, right? Like, you don't have another shot after these 30 seconds, but you do have a full 30 seconds before you actually need to stand on this point. You have plenty of time to, right now, charge your orbs up and get some ult charge. But since you TP'd up the cafe, you died, now you're on respawn, now your team's engaged in a fight, and all these ults are coming out, and you're back here, not able to use yours to contribute to the fight anymore, because you're on, you're on respawn, plus... You just switched off some Metro 2, so even if you did like hypothetically get back to the point, you don't have any ult charge saved up. I'm pretty confident here that if uh, if you didn't TP up there, and you spammed orbs from around Chokehold the best you can, I'm pretty confident you could have got it's like 80-90% ult charge, at least, if not more. I think you would have got your ult, but I think you could have at least got 80 or 90% for sure. And then when it came down to about zero, zero um, seconds on the clock, I think you definitely could have started like, left clicking people and got your ult perfectly in time to use on the last fight in time for like the zero seconds when it goes into overtime. So try to be mindful too of getting your ultimate, how close you are to ultimate, and the best timings to use your ultimate. I think Symmetra ultimate is so powerful. It's absolutely so powerful. It can drastically change the team fight for sure, especially on an like an objective like this. Not just like winning a team fight, but also when you're controlling like the actual objective and capturing a point. Symmetra is really good at denying or creating space with her ultimate. You know, her her kit's already good at denying space, but it's really good at making space similar to how like a Reinhardt might make space with his shield when you use her ultimate. Try to be aware and conscious of yeah how you're using Symmetra's ult. 
I think if you start using Symmetra's ult with more value, I think you'll be able to climb easily. If you always play like how you play in this game, you play really well. But better ultimates, I think that will definitely carry you out of gold up into platinum. I don't know if you were just choosing not to talk or if you don't have a mic, but if you do get a mic, callouts can be really helpful. Sometimes though it can also bring uh, unwanted attention against you, which is unfortunate. But comms definitely can help out. I did like how on the um, the second attack round that you, your team typed out and spawned like what the game plan was going to be, so at least your team wanted to work with you. You know, they had an idea what was going to happen and they are prepared for it. It just unfortunately didn't work out with that Pharah. So yeah, um, I was unlucky that I switched to Pharah. They really hard countered you there. Otherwise, though, I think you had a really good game. Anyways, I had fun doing this mod review. I look forward to seeing how far you can climb, Empress Doom. Thank you for sending in the VOD.